Hey everybody, it's Carol with Refunction Crafts and today I'm going to bring you a video on how I do my altered dominoes. Um, as most of you know, if you've been watching my videos, I got two tins full of um, the standard sized dominoes. Um, and of course, let's see if I've got one that's untouched here. I know I do somewhere. Where did I put it? Oh my goodness. Oh, here we go. Actually, these are painted. I've already painted them, but they're the standard size dominoes, and I think they're about two inches by an inch wide or an inch and a quarter, something like that. These are the standard size, and these are the ones that I like to use to do my dominoes with. You can get the little tiny ones at the Dollar Tree, and they're okay, but they're so small that I don't really particularly care to use them um, because I've, I've tried it and I just really didn't like the way that they looked, the final product looked. So um, anyway, you can use them though if you've got small enough images that you want to use on them. It's just a little bit more, um, I don't know, they just don't look as finished, I guess, to me. Um, but anyway, so um, I've got some in different phases. This one is the one I'm going to start off with uh, because it's completely undone, untouched, except for it is painted. And I am going to put together a few kits on these um, with some embellishments. I'll put some uh, dangles in there and uh, some of the other bits and pieces, the, the um, rhinestone that goes around the edges and bales and all the good stuff that you need to have for these um, so that you guys can try making them yourselves. Um, but I, and I'll make sure that there's also images in there that you can use and, and choose from. So I will be putting some of those together. Uh, for you guys and uh, that will come soon. I should be able to put some of those kits together rather quickly. So um, be on the lookout for those in my Etsy shop. Um, I will put a link to my shop in the description box below uh, so that you can get in there and check that out. Um, so anyway, the way that I'm going to get started on this, this is at an another phase. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start on this one. Have some E6000 handy, for sure. Have your E6000 or a comparable adhesive, because I like I use E6000 because it's very uh, it provides a really strong hold for the bales, and um, you don't want those to fall off. So that's why I use the E6000. And in this video, I'm going to show you really how you can take a pair of um, earrings that have dangles hanging from them and use those as your dangles if you don't want to make your own um, dangles. Uh, like I said, for the kits, I may provide um, an earring dangle or I may provide dangles that I have created um, out of my stash to to use in them so this one that I'm going to use today this came from a happy mail package that I got from my friend Carol and it was so pretty and it kind of gives off that vintage look sorry I had to untangle some of these chains um, but it gives off a kind of a vintagey look but look at all the sparkle in that and it has kind of a antique looking silver uh, chain that it's hanging from. So I really particularly liked this one. Um, I don't know that I'll get this one hung on this uh, domino, but that's okay because I've got another one over here. It's a little different, but even prettier than I'm gonna hang on the finished domino that I'm working on um, today. So I'm just doing this in phases on different dominoes so that I don't have to wait for dry time in between. So that's why I'm kind of doing it this way, you guys. Um, but anyway, so this domino is already painted, ready to go. I always put whatever image I want on the front on the flat side. So make sure that you do that. I have my Mod Podge here, 
and all I use is, um, and you can get this in small bottles at the Dollar Tree, is I use a uh, matte finish Mod Podge, but this is what I use. You can use whatever the Dollar Tree sells, you can use that too, it works great. Um, I think that big bottle was actually in a Happy Mail package that I got from someone, and um, that big bottle lasts me a long time. So uh, anyway, so this is the one we're going to be doing today. This is the image I'm going to use. And I'm going to get my Mod Podge ready and my brush. And I'm going to show you how really all I did cu to cut these images out was I took um, one of my dominoes and I just placed it where I wanted to on the image and with uh, just a regular number two pencil I went around and I drew around the domino and then I cut it out so here we have the domino and the image and it fits on there very nicely and I do it so that it's right up to the edge sometimes there's a little bit of the domino that shows but that's okay too um, you can do it inside the edge, however you want them to look is the way that you want to, to go ahead and, and put those on. So I'm just going to get a little bit of Mod Podge here. It doesn't take much for these, you guys. Um, just a little bit. I'm going to cover this completely and get it kind of all the way up to the edge of the domino. And Mod Podge dries very quickly you guys so you do kind of have to work quickly with it because I have found especially in the heat that we have right now and the dryness in the air I have to really really work fast with Mod Podge so I try to make sure I get my image right where I want it and I press it on and I have a lot of really pretty images you guys that you can that I can put in these kits so I'll probably do um, some of some Victorian ladies or things like that. I did have some tags that I got from Kiki Sale, but and I was I was gonna kind of planning on using some of those, but they turned out to be a little bit too big for the dominoes, so I wasn't able to use them. Those are good for my tins and things, though they're a perfect size for those. So I've got my image on there. Isn't she pretty? And so this is done in like a sepia finish and it looks very vintage and I like I like the vintage dominoes and then I'm going to take this image and put it on the back side just adding some color to the back make sure when you're doing this that you know you've got your image going in the right direction so that's something that can tend to happen where you'll put it on upside down on the back side not realizing what direction your top image is going in. So I try to be really mindful of that. And don't worry about the, the dips in the domino. It's not going to affect it, especially in the kits that I give you because the images that I'm gonna give you will, will be sturdy enough that they won't, um, they won't sink into the holes. I'm just going to press that on all the way to the edges. And there we have it. We have our image on both sides. And then the next thing you want to do once, um, once you've got it set and everything is take some of this Mod Podge and just go over the top of the image just like that and this will set it in really well because it kind of soaks through the paper and a, a, a trick that I'm going to tell you guys if you have say you've ordered images from an Etsy store online and you get the digital images and you're printing them out one thing I will tell you if you have an ink jet printer don't bother because 
they will, once you put them on here and you start covering them with other stuff, those images will fade and they won't look good after um, they've all set and dried. So these images have been printed on a laser printer. I'm gonna rinse my brush real quick. And I will be covering the back image with Mod Podge too, but this will have to dry first. So I'm gonna set this one aside. And I'm gonna set aside the embellishments for the, oh, no, here's what I'm gonna do. Well, actually, that's already dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the back side and do all these steps. because it looks like it's drying super, super fast because of this weather again, because you can see, I've already I touched it with my wet hand. I've already touched that and it's already dry. So we're gonna go ahead and Mod Podge the backside. I wish I had done it right away. <laughs> I could have just sat it on its side, I guess. and try to get as much of the brush marks out of it as you can because sometimes those brush strokes will show up after the fact. The thing is, is when I do my dominoes, the one thing that I do differently from what a lot of other people do is because I keep some resin handy, um, once I get everything on it, I'm going to resin the top side at least the top side image. The bottom I don't always worry about, but I, I, I try to resin the top side because then it gives it a real shiny, uh, finished, um, almost glassy look. So I really like that. Um, so already, look, I can touch the back side and it's not sticky or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I do the bales. I'm going to take some of my E6000 and I'm just going to put a little bit of it on this plate here. Just on the edge there. Just a little dot is all you're going to need. And I'm going to take my toothpick. Always keep toothpicks handy for this sort of thing. And I think I need to get in a little bit closer for you guys because this is an awfully small thing. So here you can see I've got my E6000 on my toothpick here and I'm just going to put a little bit on each of these bales just a little enough to cover it but not so much that it's gonna ooze out a ton. If you get a little bit of ooze, you can wipe that off though. So don't panic if you do get that um, because it happens all the time, even to me. And it will probably happen today because it happens most when I'm doing videos. So I'm just gonna place that in the center on the back side. Just like that, I'm taking the, the spoon part. I call it a spoon because it looks like a spoon. Um, and I'm just going to place it so that it's like that. So we're on the back side. And that's how it's um, going around the domino on both sides. And I've got it centered in the middle. Let me go back. So it's nicely centered. And this one I will put aside and uh, these bales will dry. I'm going to give those um, a good several hours to, to get on there really well before I do anything else with this domino. So I'm just going to set that one aside. And next I'm going to pull this one, which I've already got my bales on. Isn't she pretty? So this is the one we're going to do now, and we're going to finish off with. And I need to put these aside because they go with the other lady. 
And I know you guys are probably saying, oh, I wanted to see that on there. I will have pictures at the end of the video that will show you. And see, this one is just hanging on a necklace, but look at this. Now you're okay with it, right? <laughs> is that not gorgeous, you guys? Um, this particular domino, I don't know if I'm gonna sell it or not. I may be keeping this one. I'll have to decide on that because I don't think I will ever find another dangle charm like this. I don't know where it came from or anything. And this was given to me in my happy mail from my friend Carol Nixon. And so I have no clue where she got it. I don't even know if she knows where she got it. So, and then I have this cool ball chain that I'll be, use, be able to use for something else. And I like this um, bronze chain, so that's really cool. In fact, I may actually keep this because what I may end up doing is using this and turning this one into a necklace. So, yeah, so anyway, um, let me go ahead and start working on the rhinestone embellishment around the edges. So we're gonna, again, need our E6000 for this. So I'm gonna squeeze a bit out onto my plate over here and use my toothpick to go around the edge. Actually, no, I know how to do this without using a toothpick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze that top little bit off and I'm gonna go around the entire domino at the top side, but on the side of the domino. Hopefully you guys can see this. Oh, see now I went and looked up and looked away. That's okay, I'm gonna wipe that off a little bit with my toothpick because I'm getting quite a bit of glue on this and I don't want too much. You don't wanna get too excited with the glue on this because you're. I'm using a two millimeter rhinestone and pearl chain and I'll give you a little bit closer look at that as well because it's super duper pretty. And I get this rhinestone chain from Kiki's Sale. And it's one of my favorites. It's very small, but very, very pretty. Look at that. And it's got the rhinestones and the pearls in it. So, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and kinda hold it like this and take a toothpick and I'm just gonna kinda go along and get some of this extra glue off of here because I did get way too much in some spots. And then I'm gonna run my finger through it so that I have a whole bunch of E6000 all over my fingers. And I'm just kinda going along the whole edge here I think I've got this up close enough that you guys can see how I've kind of gone overboard with the, the glue. And if there's any left over at the end, you can get that off as well. You, you just, um, I'm able to take my fingernail and just scrape along where the chain is, just like that, and get it off and it peels right off, but it doesn't necessarily pull it out from under the chain. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold this up so that, I'm, so that I'm sort of looking straight down at it so I can see what I'm doing here. Got a little clump right there. I don't want that. And then I'm just gonna start laying this rhinestone down. See, even my E6000 is drying really fast today. I'm gonna say we're probably in the upper 90s today, but here in California, you know, we have that dry heat. We don't have, although it has been muggier this summer than most summers, um, I have noticed we've had a lot more mugginess in the air, which is kind of unusual because California is more deserty than tropical, so if I can explain what, what it's like here. <laughs> and the part of California I live in gets very, very hot. We're a little bit closer to the desert. Um, it's kind of nice living here because, you know, we're 
an hour away from the desert, we're an hour away from the mountains, and we're an hour away from um, the beach. So it's pretty nice to be able to have all of those things at our fingertips here um, and be able to enjoy all different types of climates. Climates, you know, if we want to cool down, we'll go to the beach or the mountains. And um, if we want to be in the desert, which I generally don't, <laughs> Um, we can take a drive out that way. We're not real far from like uh, the Joshua Tree area and places like that. Um, and we're, you know, we're even close, fairly close to um, Nevada and Arizona. So it's pretty cool. We have the best of all worlds um, here. So there we go. I've got that all around. And you can see how quickly that E6000 has taken and what I may do if I can get this video done quick enough is I may go ahead and put together the other one um, that I was showing you guys as well um, but this is what it looks like so far and I am definitely I have decided I am definitely going to use this one as a necklace and I'm gonna put it back on that ball chain so and I'm not worried that I have silver bales and a bronze um, dangle and a bronze chain. That doesn't bother me in the slightest. Um, well, actually, it doesn't really matter anyway because I'm going to be using these um, bronze filigree corner pieces. And I got these in Happy Mail um, that I showed in another video. I don't, I have not posted that video yet, but I did do a video um, on a Happy Mail package that I got from my friend Carol, and she um, she put some of these in there. So I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to kind of try and figure out where I want to place it, and then I'm going to cut it along the edges so that it fits at the top and at the bottom of this one. And these don't cut as easy as some of the other things and that flew across my entire kitchen. And then I'm just going to try and kind of round it out. You have to be careful with these because once you cut them, they're very sharp on the edges. So I try to kind of take my nippers and kind of round them out a little bit so that they're not so sharp. I'm not getting a good grip on it here though. There we go. And then I will probably take, um, in fact I'll go grab one of my emery boards. And I'm just going to kind of use this to go around that edge and um, clean it up a little bit. And now I'm going to cut, let me make sure here, I'm going to cut the other side. direction here. I'm going to put this in my lap to cut it because it's too hard. It just doesn't want to cut real easily. And let's see if that's good. Yes! Okay, now I'm going to real quick cut this other one as well.
Okay. And now I'm just going to take this emery board and I'm just going to kind of go along it like this to take out that roughness of those corners and edges. Just like that and it smooths it out nicely. because I wouldn't want anybody to cut themselves on this because it's too sharp. Now this will destroy your emery boards. You'd be better off using, and I do have some files that my friend Carol gave me that I didn't pull out that work really, really well for smoothing these out. And I, oh, I couldn't find my other one. And I should have those files out here because those you don't have to worry about it. You can get them at um, Harbor Freight. They sell the little tiny files for um, that you can use on metal and wood and things like that. Um, and they're just tiny, so they work well for us crafters when we want to just you know smooth something out that's small that we're working with at the time. Okay, so, oh, I still feel a point on that one. Goodness. There we go. I feel better now. <laughs> okay, so that one's all set. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna use, again, my E6000. And because mine's all dried out already, I'm gonna squeeze a little bit more here on, on my plate. I don't know about you guys, but I don't know what I'd do without my Dixie plates. I use them for everything. And I'm just going to flip them over and put this on the back side. And I'm going to put a decent amount because you want to make sure this is going to stick. But make sure you're putting it on the part that's actually going to be touching the um, domino and not all the way up. I'm going to go right there. And I'm going to lay this piece at the top. position it so that it's not like right on top of her head. Hang on, I need to bend it a little. I think when I was filing it, I kind of bent it the wrong way. Let me get a little bit more of my E6000 too. Okay, now let's try this. That's better. And put that one on the top. And this one on the bottom. Let me see if it's bent the right way. Okay. And already I need more E6000. And again on the underside, we're just going to put a little bit more of that. And you can see I'm putting a decent amount of my adhesive on here because I really want to make sure that this is going to stay on this domino. But again, I'm trying not to put so much that it's all going to ooze out everywhere. Okay. I'm going to 
lay that one on the bottom. I just thought these were really nice um, and gave it that vintage quality that I, I wanted to get out of this piece. And there is our lady. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? Oh my goodness. I'm super excited about this, as if you couldn't tell. And I'm going to make sure that they're just kind of squared off with the, the bales as well and centered. Okay. just a tad and then I'm going to take my I have a just a paper towel here and I'm going to hold that down and I'm just going to get some of this glue that may have oozed out right here out of there and I don't I see just a little dot at the top so that's not so bad um, okay, so this, this dangle charm has actually has a lobster claw at the top of it. So all I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to clip it onto the bottom bale. If I can get it on there. Okay. So we've got that on there. And I'm going to back you guys off just a little bit so that you can actually see the whole thing here. There we go. So that's what that looks like. And then I'm going to put the chain back on it. Just using this ball chain. We'll put it through the top bale here. And you can't even see that silver bale that's on the back, so that works out really nicely, actually. And this is turning out to be a really gorgeous necklace. Put that all the way through there. And there we have it. This is a long chain, as you can see. It's a pretty long one. So this will be a, one of those long neck, necklaces that hangs down, you know, towards your midsection. Or you could take it off the chain and use it as a purse charm or what have you. But look how gorgeous that is, you guys. Oh my gosh. And then the other one that we have here, um, I'm actually planning on doing the same thing with that one. I'm using the same, uh, basically the same trimmings, except for the, the dangle chain. So um, what I'll do though, in, in, uh, in the interest of keeping this video not too long, is I will finish this one off camera and I will put pictures up um, at the end of the video so that you guys can see those. I just wanted to show you really quick. I know I think I show, might have shown you this little guy um, that I made recently. I've been making my little birds and stuff. I just love making these. Um, I, I, uh, the white one is gone. I sent that off to Debbie over at Kiki Sale for um, because she needed it for a project she was doing so i've sent the little white one off but i have two more white ones that i can embellish but look at how pretty this little girl turned out i'm just in love with this bird so i'm making these um i will be putting some in my uh etsy store um i think i i do have this one in my etsy shop now she's just my little pretty girl um and then uh, I'll be putting some more out there as um, as soon as I get a chance to make some more. But I wanted to show you guys just a couple other things that I'm working on. This is a long tin. It would be something like um, it could be used as a pencil box. Um, I think Dollar Tree has these and they sell them as pencil boxes. Uh, but it's a tin. It came originally in this 
kind of mustardy yellow color and it said something about um, let's do this or something on the front but I have spray painted it white and I'm going to be embellishing this and I think this is going to turn out to be a really cool project I can't wait to do it I have some ideas already in mind for that um, and then these are some of my other little birdies that I'm going to be working on I've had these forever years literally and I haven't done them and then I've also got these little jot um, index card uh, booklets I'm going to try and um, come up with some cute ideas on um, embellishing these and then I'm just gonna last thing I'm gonna show you is some little butterflies that I made um, super duper cute I took some of the lace butterflies that I get from Kiki Sale and I used some of my other little pink butterflies and sort of embellished them. Look at how pretty these came out, you guys, and I have a little box of them. I think I'm gonna put a few of them on my, uh, in my Etsy shop. Let me show you this one. This one I added, uh, put those down. I added some stickles to this one and it came out especially pretty so I may add some stickles to a couple more um, but here's some more of them they're just so pretty and so feminine and so just gorgeous I love these things and I'm just loving working with all the pinks and everything aren't those pretty so be on the lookout. I might be putting um, a set or two of these in my Etsy shop for you guys. Um, I made them so that I can use them as embellishments on things, but I also wanted to um, try and provide some to you guys so that you can um, have some too. So anyway, that's it for me today, you guys. I really thank you for stopping by and watching this video. And um, I've got lots of projects. Um, in store for you. I'm working on, uh, I've, I've got a little box put together with a whole bunch of things that I'm, I'm getting ready to do. But this is one that I've been waiting to do for a while and I wanted to get it to you. Um, just so that you could maybe give it a shot yourself. And if you're interested in buying one of my domino um, charms, usually I make them as purse charms. Um, so the majority of them that you'll see in my shop will be uh, purse charms um, and not necklaces. Um, this would probably be the only necklace that I would put in my shop, although I do have some other chains. I may turn some other ones into necklaces, I'm not sure, because some of them will get these other, um, the chains that I have are silver, actually, and some of them may be getting these filigrees that are silver, I have a bunch of those as well. Um, so I'll be using a little bit of both. I got the silver ones. I think I got a few of those from Carol and I also had some of the silver ones that I got from Kiki Sale. So um, those are really, really pretty too. I can't finish the majority of my dominoes right now because um, I don't have any bales but I have a whole bag full of them that I'm going to be working on here. And so um, some really, really pretty images and things. Here's another one. These are all ready to go. I just have to get all of the, um, the dangles and all that good stuff completed so that I can put them in my store. Here's a gorgeous one. But a lot of these will be getting um, the silver delivery pieces as well. Isn't that pretty? She's just beautiful. And then a couple that are kind of different. This one's got hummingbirds on it. And I just love these hummingbirds. They're so pretty. So that's that one super duper pretty and that one's got the hummingbirds on both sides usually I what I will do is I put one image on the front and a different image on the back that goes with I'm making this one too which is my little my 
know you can't see it, my little Tin Man. I'll be doing that one. And let me see what else I have. I have this one that has a, a heart and a rose on the front of it. And this one is super pretty. It's got a butterfly and flowers. And let's see, let's see, what else do I have? This is one that I actually had already started and I'm gonna be finishing. I started this one actually probably two years ago and put it away and never finished it. Um, let's see, do I have anything else? Oh, this one's super pretty. got a pretty image of roses there we go so I have a lot of them here that I'm working on um, trying to see the one oh this other one that I'm gonna be working on too that I had out and I wasn't sure if I was gonna do this one or one of the other ones this one is super cool it's got the three ladies on it I love 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 that image so that's going to be coming into my shop as well. So be on the lookout for my domino charms. They're going to be in there and available. Um, I'm going to be working hard to get these all done and in my shop. And then also putting together some kits for you guys if you'd like to make your own and have some of the images and things that I've got. Just want to show you too, something that Dollar Tree has in their stores is these prayer cards and they're super pretty um, and they come with a daily uh, prayer on them and I thought you guys might just like to see these. I plan on trying to use them um, to do some stuff with but I really, really love them. This one says I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. He has made everything beautiful in its time. Let all that you do be done in love. And it has the verse at the bottom. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love, is, his love endures. We love because he first loved us. I mean, just look at all of them. They're so inspirational, and I absolutely love them. And so I did get these two boxes, um, and they because they had they had these two different um, different prints. But I just thought they were awesome, and I wanted to share this with you guys so that if anybody was interested in picking some of these up, you can get them at the Dollar Tree. Um, they always have them. They've had them for a long time. So. Um, but I just wanted to share those with you. Um, my friend Sherry had shared hers because she had purchased some as well and she was saying she was gonna do some prayer books with them. And I can't wait to see what she does with hers because she's a very talented artist and so um, I'm looking forward to seeing what she does with them. But uh, anyway, that's it for today, you guys. Um, if you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so that you'll get notified when I do future videos. And um, tell your friends, tell your family, share the video if you, if you care to. I would greatly appreciate it because that's how I get new subscribers. And I'm working very, very hard to try and grow my subscriber base. So I greatly appreciate any help you guys can give me in making that happen. Um, oh, I know, I have to tell you guys. One of the things I'm going to be doing in my Etsy shop for the month of August, hopefully you guys stayed until the end of this video because this is really important. I totally... Uh, want to make sure that you guys know this is happening my husband makes these pens and they're super beautiful and mostly um, for for a man but they make awesome gifts and we sell these for $65 in um, my Etsy shop but they're made with a um, burled wood and then the blue is resin and it's got like a blue with a silver flex in it there you can kind of see it there 
super gorgeous and he does beautiful beautiful work he hand turns these on his lathe um, in his wood shop and it's like it's really heavy and this is a really really good pen um, so I just want to let you guys know for every person that spends $50 in my Etsy shop or more um, we're going to be putting you into a drawing to win one of these pens. I'm going to be giving one away. This one, in fact, is the one I'm going to be giving away, and it's a bolt action pen. So you can see here to to make the the uh, pen come out. It's like like a rifle kind of, <laughs> and the guys really love these. And so you just you push this down and over and there you have the, the pen out and these write so beautifully. The, the pen itself on the inside is an amazing pen. It's a really high quality. So um, this is super nice. So anybody that spends $50 or more will be put into a drawing um, to possibly win this pen. So just letting you guys know. That's it, that's all for today and um, I hope you all, you all have a blessed day. Take care of yourselves, and um, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. God bless.